Hello and welcome Rams fans to the week three edition of the Rams pre-match report. The Rams are heading to Deering High School in Maine this weekend for their first road trip of 2014 to take on the GPS Portland Phoenix. The season opening homestand was prosperous. The Rams getting two victories to start the season. Now they have to continue their success on the road. First up is Northeast runner-up GPS Portland Phoenix who will have to deal with a back-to-back -back of their own. Fabio Machado believes the team is ready for another early test. I think it's going to be a good test for us. Uh, we played three games at home. Uh, we did well, but now we got to go away on the road trip and be able to handle what they have up there, you know. With two matches last weekend, the Rams gathered for just one practice this week. Obi Hare expects to have a full complement to work with after a few non-injury absentees. The Rams were unable to top Portland a year ago, but two wins in three matches leaves hope for a different result this time around. Now here's my conversation with head coach Hobie Hare, who will be undertaking his first road trip as head coach of the Real Boston Rams. Okay, coach, it's the first road trip of the season, so we'll enlighten the audience. What is going to be different from the previous three games that we Rams have experienced so far? Well, I think it's when you're comfortable at home and uh, the travel's not too bad. I think it makes it much easier on the guys for the psyche and, and the mentality. Whenever you go on the road, doesn't matter what level you're talking about, it always takes a little bit out of you. So the drive isn't long, but um, it's just one of those deals where you just don't know um, how the boys feel and, and getting up for games and things like that. Having the fact that they're in the back-to-back, -back, um, I think, uh, helps us and we'll be fresh and ready to go, but the guys will be fine. I mean, these are, these are men, right? These aren't boys, so they, they understand uh, what it takes to win on the road, so I think they'll be fine. Montreal is a team that obviously is a very good win, a 3 nothing victory on Saturday, but this is a team that you're facing on Sunday that has a lot of USL PDL experience. How are these two opponents going to be different in your mind? Well, I've, you know, personally, I've never seen you know the Portland group play. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be aggressive. I'm sure they're going to be physical. And uh, you know, with our group that wants to play and get after a little bit on the ground, that might be a really good challenge for them. I give credit to Montreal. They, they, their style and how they wanted to play. Um, you know, I think we were up for it on the night, and I think we countered very well against it. So I think they struggled. But having never seen Portland personally, uh, my guess is they're going to be very physical with this group and try. I'm sure word of mouth as well. They'll, they'll try and beat up a little, some of our boys a little bit. But uh, We'll do well. I think it will be good. This is the first month that the team has completely progressed through together. How has the team improved in your mind from when they started at the beginning of May? I tell you what, I, I think, you know, I think it was a good example on uh, the Westchester game on Sunday. Um, you know, a lot of our starting, you would quote, quote unquote, starting group wasn't there. Um, we had uh, four guys play 180 minutes during that time. And so we had six new, phrase, you know, fresh faces playing. And I think the level didn't drop very much at all, if any. And I think the skill level and the, the way we played uh, against Westchester, I think, you know, again, we had many, many chances to, to I think, finish this game off. Um, we were a little Fortunate, a little unlucky. Uh, that happens in the sport that we play. But I think the level never dropped with that. You know, you would say the second group, so to speak, um, which I think is a testament to not only the boys, but I think the quality of depth that we have overall in positions in the field. I think it was pretty good. Well, that'll do it for this week's edition of the Rams Pre-Match Report. Be sure to check out our Real Boston Rams Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Real Boston Rams. Be sure to stay tuned also to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Real Boston Rams for highlights from this weekend's game against the GPS Port in Phoenix. For all of us at the Rams, I'm Davis Van Opdorp. Thanks for watching.